Hello and welcome to another edition of Telescope Man. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Texas Astronomical Society website. So, here's our uh, logo uh, for the Texas Astronomical Society of Dallas, and what I want to do today is kind of take you through the website a little bit. For those of you that uh, uh, may be wondering what's available on that website, and so let's uh, open up a little window here to the website and the website address of course is texasastro.org t e x a s a s t r o dot org and once you reach this site uh, you know there's just a world of information on this site that you can use let me uh, point you to some of these tabs up at the top We've got some RSS links set up to uh, give you the latest uh, news from various places like NASA and uh, other, other spots on the internet. We've got a calendar link, and if you click that link right there, you'll go to our calendar. And uh, basically, you'll be able to uh, tell... Uh, everything that we're doing in the club right from this calendar and of course it usually opens to the weekly tab which is what you're seeing right now and if you'll just come up here and hit the uh, uh, months tab you'll get the entire month's events uh, so that you can tell what the club activities will be for that month if you look way over here on the right hand side, you're going to be able to see our repeating star parties. Uh, we have one literally every weekend somewhere in the Dallas Metroplex. So let's suppose this weekend you wanted to go to, uh, we've got two events scheduled, you can see. Uh, so you wanted to go to this top event. If you click it, you go to a details page. That tells you all about that event and uh, even usually has a map to the event and uh, to tell you how to get there, what time it starts, etc., etc. So lots of good information on the calendar link. So let's go back to the main website again. Reposition this window. There we go. So there's the calendar link for you. If you ever need to contact us, just go to the About Contact Us, and you'll get uh, email addresses to the officers of the club on this page, the contact page. And a key part of this website is this features link. Okay, it's got some beginner guides on it that you can read. And I want you to draw your attention to this one, our Spectrum Newsletter. Now, we've won awards on this newsletter. It's not, it's not what you'd think of as a newsletter. It's more like a magazine. And, of course, we have archived copies of the newsletter going back several years. They're all in PDF format, and you can download them and read them for free, and that's right under the Features tab. And the final tab is really for our members to use, and it uh, gets them onto the forum and gets them into the Members Only section uh, where they can get a badge and look at our minutes and uh, look at our financial reports, etc., etc., so lots of information on here. Now you'll notice we've also embedded some yellow links uh, on the page to take you to various sections of it. Like if you wanted to join, you could click this link and using a secure PayPal link, you can join the club. 
uh, very easy to do. Membership's open to anyone with an interest in the night sky. If you look down the uh, page, the center column, uh, you're going to see the latest edition of our newsletter, which is right here. Of course, it's also under the Features tab, but the latest edition is right on the front page. And we have, definitely have a meeting coming up this Friday at the University of Texas, Dallas. And information on the speaker for that meeting is posted right on the website. And, of course, there's a campus map that you can click and find your way on campus into the Science Learning Center building where we hold this meeting every month. And then here's our reoccurring star parties and lots of information here on when they are. If you click any of these links, like... Here is the one for the one that uh, I personally manage in Rockwall, Texas at the Shores Park. So if you were to click the Shores Park, you would get a Google map showing you exactly where that park is located and all the other information that uh, you might need to come on out and attend the star party. So again, that's right on the main page. And we do have a special uh, page that uh, we call Public Observing Site. And if you go there, you can see the upcoming star parties uh, that reoccur uh, each week on that page. So there's just tons of stuff on here for you to peruse and look at and read. And feel free to do that. And... We would encourage you to consider joining the Texas Astronomical Society of Dallas. We've got a bunch of uh, very friendly members who will be happy to help you with the astronomy hobby. Now, the other site <clears throat> I wanted to take you to was uh, uh, this particular site. And let me uh, get us over there. This is probably one of the best sites on the internet for beginners because it concentrates almost 100% on helping beginners. Uh, and it's very easy to find and very easy to remember. It's called astronomyforum.net. Astronomyforum.net. So just put those two words together and net and it will take you to this site you can uh, sign up please do sign up you can peruse the members forum on this site but you won't be able to post questions until you actually register and registration is free and you're going to find a lot of very friendly people here who will answer your questions uh, very uh, courteously about the amateur astronomy hobby. Uh, Telescope Man is also on this site uh, many times during the day. So I would encourage you to go there and uh, uh, take a look at that site and join because it's going to help you with your astronomy hobby. And with that said, we're going to try to round up this edition of Telescope Man and wish you clear skies and keep looking up every night to see the most beautiful things in the night sky that you could possibly imagine. Until next time, take care and clear skies.